Jailbreak has had 13 seasons, which have given us a huge assortment of rewards. Some of the rewards have been absolutely fantastic, while a few of them have been pretty mediocre, and some of them are outright bad. Today, I decided I'm going to categorize every single Jailbreak season reward in a tier list. I have 7 categories the rewards can be ranked in. Now, remember, this tier list is just my opinion, so it's totally okay for you to disagree with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started. Kicking things off, we have OG Season 1 at the very top. First off, we have the 100% rocket fuel. I'm gonna put that in garbage. 100% rocket fuel I just really don't like when it's rewarded from seasons. It's just a big waste of a spot. Then we have the spider leg rims. These rims, um, they're okay. I never really use them, but they're perfectly fine. This spoiler, I'll also put in okay. It's perfectly fine as well, but I never find myself using it. Torpedo is gonna go in great. It's a phenomenal vehicle in terms of stats, though I'm not really a huge fan of it looks-wise, so that's why I don't have it in amazing. Then we have the star badge rims. These are also okay, they're, they're fine. We also have the five star spoiler. This is pretty good. Then we have the Batmobile. This will go up in amazing. I love the Batmobile. It's so fun to drive and it looks phenomenal. Then we have season two. This only gave vehicle skins. As you can see, we've got a long row of vehicle skins. First off, we have the money skin. This skin's actually pretty good. I like it quite a bit. I never use it, but it looks good. Then we have the bacon skin. In my opinion, this one's mediocre because it's literally just a bacon strip down the middle of the car and just doesn't look that great in my opinion. Then we also have the hot dog skin and it also goes in mediocre for the same reason as the bacon skin. It's just the hot dog down the middle of the car. There's not really much else to say about it. Then we have the tiger skin. I think this one's good as well. Then we have orange pixel. I love pixel skins. They're just so nice and the pixel skins from this season were very well made so the orange pixel will go in great then here we have the wavy skin this one is a very good skin in my opinion glowing yellow i'm a huge fan of napkin nate i miss him so much and this is basically a napkin nate skin even though it wasn't called that it will go in great then we have the earth skin this will go in good it's also a pretty solid skin then we have lightning It'll go in mediocre along with these two. It's basically the exact same thing. It's just a stripe down the middle. In my opinion, these three are pretty lazy. Then we have the blue pixel. This goes in amazing. I love this skin a lot, and I use it all the time. Now we move on to OG Season 3. First off, we have Rocket Fuel plus 10,000 cash. This also goes in garbage. I don't like Rocket Fuel as a prize. It just takes up a spot that could be used for something else. And 10,000 cash is unbelievably easy to get. Then we have the Season 3 tires. I'll put them in mediocre. I don't really care for tires. Then we have these rims. I do not remember the names of them. These are okay. They're fine. Then we have the other rims that have the red circle in them. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of this one. Uh, this one's also alright. It's not really my favorite. Then we have the Audi. I'll put it in mediocre. I really don't care for this vehicle. Then we have the level 50 tire. I'll also put this in mediocre. Like I said, I don't really care about tires. Then here for the police side, we also have the rocket fuel. I'm putting it down here for the same reason. We have the season three tire goes here. These rims, um, yeah, they go here. These go here. The Raptor, it's okay. I like the Raptor. It looks good, but doesn't have great stats. Then the level 50, yeah, these also go here. I actually do use the level 50 tires, but then moving on to season four, the worst season, we have rocket fuel goes here. Then we have the robot wing spoiler. This spoiler looks very good. I'm going to put it over here. Then we have the parachute spoiler. It's all right. I don't really care for the parachute spoilers because they kind of block up your screen. Then we have the UFO spoiler. Uh, this one's okay. I don't really care for it. More rocket fuel goes down here. This one is really good in my opinion. It just looks pretty nice. Another parachute spoiler. This goes in okay. Dual rockets. These are great. I really like these ones. Okay, now we're done with the OG seasons, we're moving on to the new seasons. First off, we have 10 free C4s from Season 1. These go in garbage. Look, C4s, they just take up too much space in a season. Like, 
come on, this is a wasted slot. And C4s themselves are pretty useless. At the time, they were a cool trolling feature, but they, it was still a wasted spot, especially since C4s are so cheap. Then we have the level 3 gun skin. This one's okay. I don't really care for gun skins, so I'm not going to be rating them particularly high. Up next, we have the fire gun skin. Uh, this one's mediocre. I don't really care for this one. Then we have the snowstorm vehicle skin. I really like this one. This is great. Then we have the bull rims by Rally Subby. I'm going to put them in amazing. I just love these rims so much. They look great. Then we have 24,000 cash. I'm going to put them in bad because I think just giving cash is pretty lazy since this is a wasted spot. However, they're not totally useless since this definitely is helpful for noobs. Then we have the fire vehicle skin. This one goes in mediocre. I honestly don't really like this skin. We have multiple fire skins in the game and this is easily the weakest one. Then we have the halo rims. I'm gonna put them in great. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these rims, they look great. Then we have the level 10 prize, the Beam Hybrid. This vehicle is very solid, so I'm gonna put it in good. It's very well designed, and it's pretty good in terms of stats. Now, moving on to Season 2, we have another 10 free C4s, those go in garbage. And we have the Planet Rims. These rims are good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Star Wing Spoiler, this is pretty good. Vanta Black, this is amazing. I love Vanta Black. Then we have the Carbon Stardust Gun Skin. Uh, this one will go in okay. Then we have 30k Jail Bucks. This will go in bad. Then we have the Carbon Stardust Vehicle Skin. This one's good. I like this skin. Animated Rocket Wings. These are amazing. I love these a lot. Then we have the Crew Capsule. This one goes in mediocre. Then we have Season 3. 100% Rocket Fuel. This goes in garbage. I hate it. Digital Confetti Skin bad. Digital confetti skin goes in mediocre. Camaro bed. Uh, this one's okay. I don't like furniture that much either, but this is a pretty good furniture item. Then we have the Mini Cooper. This goes in garbage. Ugh, this was just so poorly executed. They bought back an OG vehicle without compensating the people who already owned it. Then we have another 30k cash. This will go in bad. RGB wall furniture. This one's okay. Then we have the air wing. This one's bad. I don't like this. Then we have the Volt 4x4. This one goes in amazing. I love the Volt 4x4. It looks amazing. It's so fun to drive. It has great first person, great speed. It's just such a great vehicle. Then moving on to season four, we have the Earthquake Gun Skin. Uh, this one's mediocre. I don't really care for gun skins. Then we have the Trapped Bookshelf. This one's okay. Then we have the Tiger Rug. Yeah, this one's okay as well. Then we have the Earthquake Vehicle Skin. It's good. I like it. We have the Death Trap Spoiler. Don't really care for this one, honestly. It's pretty mediocre. I've literally never used this in my life. Then we have the sarcophagus bed. This one's okay. Compass rims. Yeah, I do not like these, unfortunately. Put them in mediocre because it's not as bad as this stuff. Come on. I can't believe that we couldn't even change the color for this. Like, this only works on green customization. Then we have the Tiki Spoiler. This one's okay. Then we have the Rattler. Yeah, this one's good. It's a good vehicle. Now moving to Season 5, we have the Gamer Chair. This one's alright. I don't think any apartment decorations will go above okay. Then we have the Clickbait Spoiler. Uh, this is okay. Then we have the Trophy Stand thingy. This is also alright. Don't have much to say about that. Then we have the Drip Gun Skin. This is mediocre. Then we have the multi spoiler. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna put it in good. Then we have the screen painting. This is okay. Then we have the drip vehicle skin. Yeah, this goes in bad. No offense to Faker Gen C, he made a very good skin. It's just the way this was integrated was very poorly done. This skin looks pretty bad on a lot of vehicles. Then we have the RTX rims. You know what? Since I put the compass rims in mediocre, I'll put this in mediocre. Because I also really don't like how you can't change the color of these. Alright, then we have the banana car. I'll put in good because it, it is a good vehicle. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Moving on to season six, we have the retro racer rims. These rims are pretty good. Okay, then we have the fire weapon skin by Truminator. I'm gonna put him in okay. I don't really care for weapon skins, but this one looks alright. Then we have the race car bed by Oof Ed. This one also goes in okay. Like I said, I don't care for apartment decorations. 
Then we have the Velocity Spoiler. This one is also okay. It's a pretty generic spoiler in my opinion. Then we have the JDM Wing. I love this one. This one's great. This is a great spoiler. And we have the Center Lock Rims. These rims are pretty good. Then we have the Red Racer Vehicle Skin. This is a very good skin. And we have the Sim Rig. This is okay. Then we have the Bugatti Belide. This is amazing. Such a great vehicle. Insanely fast, but also looks fantastic. Then we have the Carpool Table. This is okay. Then we have the Retro Racing Skin. This one is great. Then we have the Fire Vehicle Skin. This one is good. We've had so many fire vehicle skins, but I think this might be the best one. It looks very good. Moving on to Season 7, we have the Black Ice Gun skin. This one goes a mediocre, honestly. Since this is a black skin, you're not going to see much detail on the guns when you put it on the guns, so it's not a good gun skin in my opinion. And we have the Hot Chocolate Tub. This one is okay. Definitely looks good, but apartment decoration and you guys know my thoughts on that then we have the winter log spoiler uh this one's mediocre unfortunately i don't really care for it no offense to speed queen she made a great model here but the thing is it just doesn't look great as a spoiler in my opinion and it doesn't match well with like any car customization then we have the ice spike rim the icicle rims. These ones are... I'll put them in good. Next we have the air hockey table. This one's okay. Then we have the snow shovel wing. This one is okay as well. Then we have the black ice vehicle skin. Uh, this one's good. Then we have the snow face rims. These ones are great. I love these a lot. We have the icebreaker. I'm gonna put this one in good. It's basically on the edge of great. This is definitely a very good vehicle. We have the trans right skin. I'm gonna put it in okay. It's supposed to be a winter camo skin, but it just doesn't look great as a winter camo skin. Like I don't get what's winter about it at all. Then we have the try on rims. These rims are good. Then we have the circuit gun skin. This one is okay. This is probably my favorite gun skin, but I don't really care for gun skins in general, so that's not saying much. Then we have the overdrive spoiler. This one's good. Then we have the Mecha Arms spoiler. Now this one is great. I like this one a lot. Then we have the Teleport Chamber. This one's okay. Then we have the Ionize Rims by Top Prime. These rims are good. Unfortunately, they are a bit dark, so you can't actually see the rim design on them, but they do look cool. Then we have the Circuit Vehicle skin. I'm gonna put it in mediocre. I really didn't care too much for this vehicle skin. Then we have the sci-fi kitchen. This one goes in okay. Then we have the Celsior. Yeah, this one is amazing. Love, love, love the Celsior. Then we have the energy rims. These go in amazing. These are phenomenal rims. Now, look at that. We're at season nine. We're almost done. First, we have the travel case spoiler. This one's honestly great. I really like this one. It's just such a cool idea and I'm glad they were able to translate it over to the game. Then we have the picnic table furniture, this is alright. We have the rocket fuel refill, this is garbage, I hate that they included this. Then we have the iron rock rims, uh, these ones are great or amazing, I really I really like these ones honestly. Yeah I'm gonna put them in amazing since I use these a lot now. Then we have the bead lock rims, I think they're good. They're good. Then we have the glider wing spoiler. I think this one's good. Pretty solid spoiler. Definitely prefer this one over the parachute. Then we have the jackrabbit. I think this vehicle is good. Then we have the bike rack spoiler. Unfortunately, I think this one is mediocre. They executed it so poorly in game. The colors on this are just so messed up. Like there's always some red in it and yeah, the customization is just very buggy. Then we have the Old Town Road vehicle skin. You know what? I think this one's good. Yeah, it's good. And finally, the Cucaracha horn. I'm gonna put it in garbage. I hate it. But yeah, that is my completed tier list. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these items are your favorite? Which ones are your least favorite? Which ones do you use to this day? If you want, go ahead and fill out this tier list on your own. I've linked it below in the description. If you want me to see it, then either at me on Discord or at me on Twitter and I'll be able to see it. Speaking of which, make sure to join my Discord server and follow me on Twitter if you would like to interact with me more directly. 
If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more Roblox Jailbreak content like this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for your continuous support. I can't thank you enough. Thanks guys and I'll catch you all later.